UVA grad who battled and survived cancer not once but twice and wrote a book about it. And now he joins me to talk about how he became a cancer kicking superhero. Now ben, what went through your head? You were diagnosed with cancer once when you were in high school, fought it, survived, and then again when you were 19, you got the diagnosis of viewing sarcoma, correct? For the second time, what went through your head? Well, for the first one, I kind of had these traits that made me think I was superhuman. Uh, kind of silly, weird way to survive, but um, I created these rules that guided my life, like don't cry, don't complain, don't fear death, don't talk about cancer. And so after I survived the first time, those rules continued to um, define who I was. And so when I got cancer the second time, I again just kind of went about it like it was a normal routine. I had these rules that I knew would help me survive so long as I stuck to them. So it didn't faze me as much as the first time. And you, you started writing a blog, and that blog caught a lot of attention, and um, then it turned into a book, which we have here, Twice, How I Became a Cancer-Slaying Superman, all before I turned 21. Um, why did you feel like it was important to share your story and your perspective? Well, when I started writing it, I actually didn't go about it with any um, uplifting reasoning. I was working the night shift at Hollywood Video. It was about 11 p.m. and I was just hit with the idea that I should write a book. So I wrote down the first 500 words. I looked at it the next day. Terrible. <laughs> but uh, I didn't want to quit, so I kept going. Little did I know, normal books are about 80,000 words, so I had a ways to go. But um, I'm glad I did. I enjoy writing, and I enjoy continuing up with the blog. So I keep that going as well. And uh, what do you hope people who read this book come away feeling? It would be nice if they could find some uplifting message. I survived cancer in a strange way. I was a crazy little kid. <laughs> uh, I think as long as you find whatever it is that helps you survive, that's most important. I would say don't follow me unless you want to be a weirdo. <laughs> Well, I don't think you're worried at all. I think you're inspiring, and I'm so glad that you were able to come in here and join me today. Thanks so much, Ben. Thank you very come much. Come back anytime and check out his book. You can meet Ben in person and ask him questions of your own. He'll be at the New Dominion Bookshop on East Main Street tomorrow at 12.15 to discuss his book twice, How I Became a Cancer-Slaying Superman Before I Turned 21. Check it out. The Charlottesville Jazz.